me talking to surf and understanding surf the way that I do. I don't know if the battle is going to happen, but I'll pretty much give it up now because by the way things looking, we're not battling no time soon. So I might as well give up my whole angle. A lot of people thought that in my third round, I was going to destroy surf. And I was going to, I was, I was going to destroy him with reverse destruction. I was planning on pulling the files. The files. The files of how smart you are. All your GPAs. All your, your diplomas. All your, all your awards. Everything. Nigga, you supposed to be at NASA. Y'all really don't understand. <laughs> I'm pull of files. That was my whole plot. To get on this main stage and show the world how smart of a nigga you are. No. I ain't never clowned a nigga for being smart. Ever. It ain't a clown. It's a big up. It, that was my whole approach for the third. Like, my my approach for, for the third was to use surf as an example to tell the world it's okay to be smart. It's okay to be smart. It's not, it's like, that was my whole, my whole approach for the whole third. And I needed a big stage to do it. And I needed like a person like Surf to do it. This is why I really wanted to battle Surf so much. Cause Surf lives on both sides of the street. He like, he this side of the street, but he that side of the street. I wanted to do that. That was my whole plot for the third round. Like, that was my plot. This situation is an unfortunate situation because I'm gonna tell y'all a story about a guy I know named Kevin. Look, I'm gonna tell y'all. And and I say that because Kevin fell victim to the two-way streets. I had a friend named Kevin. Kevin was about six, 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 or six, seven. I used to play basketball, I used to play basketball with Kevin every day. Every single day I played basketball with Kevin. This is my guy. Kevin mom them moved to a specific neighborhood. Kevin had to walk down that block every day to get home. Remind you, this is a six, seven dark skinned nigga walking down the block full of gang members. What are all gang members? Every single gang member is a bitch. Every last one of them. How do I know? Cause I grew up in the hood. Every gang member is a bitch. You look for gang for protection because you hurt. You don't have a dad. You don't have a family. You, you look for the gang for protection. That's literally it. 99.9% 90, .9 gang members don't do too much stuff by themselves, especially when it comes to fighting. Yeah, they go shoot by themselves. But when it comes to like really pressing, they don't press by themselves. It's very few niggas that press by themselves. I'm just keeping it real. I, I, I spent 30 plus years in the hood. I know all my homies. It's very few niggas that press by themselves. Very few. So when you see a nigga 6'7", and you 5'3", you know what you do? Hey, y'all, y'all got my back? Look, hey, hey, cuz, let's go press this nigga. You gonna look backwards first, and then you gonna walk forward. So boom, Kev had to go home every day. Every day they press Kev. Every day. I'm talking months, pressed them, jumped them, all type of shit, pressed them. Every day, press. Kev finally said, man, fuck it. If y'all niggas gonna keep beating me up, nigga, then shit, nigga, I might as well get courted on.
He was forcefully courted on. Forcefully. Ain't no other routes home. They forcefully courted on. Kev stopped coming to the park. Kev started game banging heavy. Kev, I don't even, I ain't seen Kev in probably 16 years. 15 years. I ain't seen Kev 15. So I say this to say, a lot of these situations, especially when you in the hood or you around the hood or you around hood people, like, it's like a, some situations, they, they can't be avoided. It happens. Like, it, 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 it was no other way. And I'm going to break it down deeper. The even deeper plot is systematic design that destroyed us wealthy or destroyed our wealth that put his mom in a situation where she had to Appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas.